Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to Soul Searching for the last time. For the last time, welcome to Soul Searching. I'm not stopping YouTube, don't get me wrong, but we got some stuff to talk about. So, again, for the last time, roll the tape. All right, so I've been doing a lot of quote unquote soul searching myself over the past couple of weeks. I haven't been making that much content. Look, I've been doing fragrances, I've been doing sneaker reviews. Uh, men's fragrances that is we're gonna do we're gonna do some today i think they go hand in hand i've said this many a times you can have the best jays on your feet you, you, you can have heat on your feet but if you step out the house and you stink my guy don't nobody want to be around you they don't care about what sneakers you got on okay now i'm gonna show you how i think about these guys how i think about fragrances and i think about sneakers think about when you're watching uh you know a big YouTuber and they're into electronics and they do a review on a phone and then the next review may be on a, on some speakers or something, right? Like uh, some earbuds or something. It's all technology. It's all under the umbrella of technology. When I think about colognes, men's fragrances and sneakers, to me, they're under the same umbrella of lifestyle, of representing you and who you are. Your kicks, your sneakers that you have on your feet, that represents you, that represents your style, right? Now, not only that, but you like compliments. You're wearing heat on your feet. You like somebody to wreck. You like people to see it. I mean, come on, let's say it. You like people to say, man, I like those, I like those 90s, man. You know, those uh those Air Max 90s. I like those Yeezys. I like those J's, man. You know, it feels cool. You like getting compliments. We're all human. Compliments are cool. It's good to compliment others too. So y'all practice that. But uh, I think of fragrance is the same way. You wear a fragrance, it can uplift you, it can make you feel better, it can boost your confidence. I mean, at least it does for me. And it also, fragrances garner compliments too. You know what I mean? So again, they go hand in hand with each other. Uh, so soul searching, as my channel has been called uh, since day one, or not really since day one, I think I started with my actual name and then I changed it to soul searching. But I want to make this video too long. We do have a giveaway. We got a giveaway. So you guys stay tuned. Uh, but soul searching is changing. Because I want to make a channel name that is all encompassing of what we review over here on this channel. With that being said, again, giveaway today. Stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, my camera's going out. I'm gonna give you guys the name of the new channel, and I'll tell you about what we're gonna be giving away. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you what we're giving away right now. Look at all these, man. I've got all these bottles, all these decants of cologne, full Azaro, Paco Rabanne, Moschino, Dior, Christian Dior, all this stuff over here, man. I'm giving away one decant. I got them. I got so many of them. They're falling off my desk. One decant uh, to one subscriber. Every fragrance video that I do until I run out of them. And trust me, it's going to be a while for I run, before I run out of them. All you got to do, number one, be subscribed to the channel. Number two, hit that thumbs up button for me. Share the video. That'll help share the video on the YouTube al algorithm, as they say. And comment down below. For today's video, we're going to be talking about my top five Citrus scents for the spring. I like citrus fragrances, especially during the spring and summertime when that heat hits you, man. It just, they smell great. They're effervescent, if you will. Uh, so <laughs> I hear that a lot on effervescent. Uh, but you know, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Let's quit all the jibber jabber and all that stuff. I talked about these on my last, uh, you know, fragrance video. I think it was like the top 10 fragrances for sp uh, springtime or spring break or something like that. But check this out. They deserve to be here because they are citrus fragrances okay and uh they're cheapies they're not these aren't in my top five they're honorable mention if you will but this is tommy bahama guys tommy bahama saint bart's saint kitts check this out put your mind put your mind relax and go to the beach put your feet in the sand grab you a margarita or grab you a daiquiri right because this one right here has lime and tequila this one right here has starfish or star fruit and it's fruity so this one has more of a fruity citrus opening with that star fruit. This one has lime and tequila. You're on a beach, you got your feet in the sand, you're listening to Jimmy Buffett. Man, the waves are rolling in. You hear the seagulls flying. This is an island tropical paradise in a, in a bottle. Longevity sucks, it's horrible, but this stuff is like 15 bucks at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, wherever you can find this, $15. Cover yourself in it, take the bottle with you where you go, cover yourself in it again when you want to. You can go back and buy you another bottle for the price of a Happy Meal. I'm serious. McDonald's is crazy, man, what they charge in these days. They think they're a full-blown restaurant. CK1, this is another uh, honorable mention. CK1 Summer 2021, 
This guy right here has like a lot of different citruses in it. It has the note of watermelon, which is really cool. But this stuff smells really good. Longevity, again, crap, garbage. Take it around with you. Apply as needed. You know what I'm saying? And you'll smell great. CK1 Summer 2021. It's kind of hard to find, but if you find it, get it. All right, let's get into my top five. At number five, this one right here basically is Nautica Voyage on steroids. All right, that's what I call it. Uh, you can find this typically at one of those uh, retailers that I just called out a moment ago. I bought this bottle. It didn't come without the cap. The cap is magnetic, but it came without the cap. I got it from Fragrance Net for $40. This is Masoni Wave, all right? Masoni Wave. And as you can see, it's a tester bottle. It's got tester right here on the back. Didn't come with the cap. Presentation's nice on this guy, man. And this is a beautiful scent. It's got a lot, this a bright, bright citrus opening. I mean, you've got lemon, lime, orange. I think it's maybe even mandarin orange because it's kind of a tart orange, but it smells outstanding, especially, man, it's, it's great. Think about, I, I try to give like references. Think about palm trees with a, a hammock tied to it and you're laying in that hammock relaxing and the sea breeze is blowing by. You're catching whiffs of that palm tree, that sea breeze, air, a little bit of citruses because that citrus is going to fade to a very creamy like driftwood, sandalwood type of smell. Really good as it dries down. Guys, this is great. This is Masoni Wave coming in at number five. At number four, the most realistic grapefruit fragrance in my entire collection and probably that I've ever smelled. This is Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue Forever. Okay, this guy right here, like I said, is grapefruit in a bottle. If you don't like grapefruit, you're not going to like this fragrance. But if you like grapefruit like I do, it's my favorite fruit. Imagine cutting one open, taking it, squeezing it all over your arm, all the juice all over your arm. That's what you're going to smell like, a grapefruit, a walking grapefruit. Now, if that sounds bad to you, again, don't worry about it. The title of this video is Citrus Fragrances, though, and this is a citrus bomb. It dries down a little musty, not musky, because it's got patchouli in it but musty. And that may turn some people off as well, but think about grapefruit juice as it sits on your skin for a little while and starts to dry, how that would smell. That's this. I literally think they just cut up a grapefruit and stuck it in a bottle, guys. This is Dulce and Gabbana, light blue forever. I think this came out in 2021. Maybe a little tough to find. Check Fragrance Net and see if you can find it there. Next up, this guy right here opens up with citruses too. I want to say grapefruit and also maybe orange. I'd have to look up the notes. I'm not looking up the notes on any. It's kind of just going by, by memory. But this is the OG Invictus. A lot of people say this is the bubblegum sweet fragrance that kind of started it all back in 2013. And I'll agree. They are absolutely correct. But guys, this gets hated on, in my opinion, for no reason these days. Like, I get that people have worn it and worn it and worn it. But now there's Invictus Aqua. Uh, or not anymore, it's been discontinued, but Invictus Onyx, I think that was discontinued as well. Victory, Victory Elixir, uh, Platinum, all of that stuff, right? This right here is the OG. I still love it. It still gets a lot of compliments when I wear it. Yes, it's synthetic. Yes, it's sweet. But guys, let's not deny the juice. Don't deny the juice. This stuff is good. It works. It projects. It's long lasting. And hey, it's still one of the kings, in my opinion. This is Paco Rabanne, the original OG Invictus. Now, to my second place. Hey, lemon heads. Lemon heads, I like a hey, cherry head. Y'all eat, eat those? Is it just me? The little 25-cent boxes of candy you find in the gas stations, uh, like cherry head, grape head, apple head, lemon heads. If you like those, and I've been eating them since I was a kid, the lemon heads. This right here is Mancera's lemon Line, not lime, but line. Mancera lemon line. This bottle right here from the Mancera website. Mancera is a niche fragrance, but it's like a beginner niche fragrance, okay? Um, but this right here is going to cost you about 200 bucks from the website. Go to FragranceNet. I actually purchased this bottle right here for $80, guys. $80 on FragranceNet.com. I'm not sponsored. I'm a low-level low kind of YouTuber guy. But I do want to tell y'all when y'all can get, when y'all, where y'all can get, uh, you know, uh, good prices from. So, Mancera Lemon Lime is exactly what I said it was. It's lemon heads, guys, and it stays that way. A lot of a lot of fragrances I've talked about, as they dry down, they turn more woodsy. They may turn oriental. They may have like a little spice kick to them. This right here is lemon head start, lemon head finish. You'll be a lemon head for not a banana head, but a lemon head. You'll be a lemon head for, you know, eight to ten hours plus. This stuff is strong. It's long lasting. It's got a lot of fragrance oil in it. Uh, it is an eau de parfum concentration. So yeah, 
lemon line from Mansara. And then coming in at number one, and then we'll talk about the video. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know if y'all still with me. Let me know if y'all still with me. Um, number one is my favorite, Dior Homme Cologne. A lot of people talk about the longevity of this. And let me tell you, I'll give you an example of how it is on my skin. On my skin, this guy lasts a long time, okay? And I might be the few out there. I think I am. Uh, but I was in Biloxi, Mississippi. We were down there gambling, me and my wife, having a good time at the casinos. I put this on after the shower one morning, went downstairs, got me a Bloody Mary kind of to wake up to, started, you know, gambling, getting on the poker table and whatnot. Hours and hours later, I'm talking about midday, probably 3 p.m. or so, my wife's downstairs, we're on the slot machines or whatever, and I get these whiffs, and I'm like, man, that smells good. I wonder what kind of cologne it is. She's like, that's your cologne. I've been smelling it all day. And I'm like, so I went nose blind to it. I couldn't smell it anymore. This stuff right here, guys, is lemonade. Everybody says it's lemonade. They're absolutely right. This stuff smells, and I think it's just got bergamot. I don't think it has lemon in it, but this smells like a cold glass of lemonade. It's very relaxing, very soothing when you put it on. It just puts me in a fantastic mood. This stuff right here is the juice to let loose in the springtime if you like citrus fragrances. We'll say, if you've ever had a lemon drop, y'all youngsters out there, don't go try it. But for you old, for you old heads out there that, that have been to the bar a few times or been to the club, if you've ever had a lemon drop, which is a shot of vodka with a lemon peel and some sugar around it, this right here smells just like a lemon drop taste, okay? So if you like lemon drops or if you've ever experienced lemon drops, this is what this smells like. It does have a clean white musk, not must, like the other one, musk, very clean smell that comes through on the dry down on this. This is a beautiful cologne, guys. Very beautiful cologne. Dior on cologne for the W. All right. So the giveaway. I know y'all been wondering. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel. All right. Hit that thumbs up button for me if you don't mind on this on this uh, you know video here, and uh, get down in the comments because I'm going to do a random comment selector. Uh, get down in the comments and tell me your favorite springtime or summertime fragrance. That's all you got to do. All right. If you get down in the comments and you leave me that, you're automatically, one of y'all is going to win one of these decants over here. And in my next fragrance video, I will announce the winner and I will ship it to you for free. Now, before we leave, here it is, the grand finale. Again, I have to rename the channel. It's soul searching right now. It's strictly dedicated to my sneaker heads. And guys, we're still going to be doing sneakers. I've got a sneaker lineup that I'm about to throw out there to y'all out of the collection that we're going to have fun with. Trust me, we're going to have, I had fun picking them out. So we're going to be doing that next. Uh, but the name of the, the name of the new channel uh, is going to be called Aroma Kicks. And all I'm doing is changing the name of this one. You don't have to go and resubscribe to another channel. I'm not starting a new YouTube channel. So you guys that are subscribed, stay where you're at. Anybody new, just click the subscribe button. I just want to let y'all know I'm changing it to Aroma Kicks because we are about fragrances. And we are about kicks. With that, peace. I'm out. I love you guys. Take care. Stay safe.